Hello, welcome to episode, oh shit, eight? Yeah, episode eight of our Kerbal Space Program uh, career mode tutorial today. We're going to get into a polar orbit with this satellite we built out. Uh, essentially, it's just the probe head, uh, the new probe head we got from science, some solar panels and some batteries, and uh, lots of engines. Let's uh, give it a launch. Um, during practice runs, I've had a little trouble with this, getting this to orient properly. But let's see how this goes. The problem is, is that it's very hard to orient yourself when you don't have atmosphere. We do have fuel to burn. I've really kind of over-engineered this to give us a lot of extra delta V, a lot of extra fuel capacity, um, so we can do the thing. Um, one thing to note is that I'm going to make a start making my turn at around 10,000 meters. In order to help us with the transition to orbit. He's here really, really wobbly. And we see here that immediately with the loss of that mass, we start spinning. Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity. I'm just going to put, I want to activate. I'm going to use a little bit of thrust to orient myself properly. Should be coming back. So I'm burning in the wrong direction. This thing handles like ass. <laughs> All right, so this is where I want to go. myself prograde and I'm just gonna just start my burn <sighs> it's gonna wait a little more you know what? Oh, screw it I'm just gonna burn and you might have noticed I'm not that great a pilot I'm bring my oop out of gas. I'll shoot this one. I'm gonna aim lower here. I'm gonna work to really kind of increase my speed. Oh, we should be okay. really far from apoapsis so I'm going to get us a bit closer and burn again that 
that's a lot better. So when you get 85% coverage, we're looking for a inclination. Huh, we're already at an inclination of 66 degrees. So that's good news. Uh, so we got to get to 90 because we had such a weird um, we had such a strange orbital insertion that uh, yeah they're already at 60 degrees, 66 degrees of inclination we want 90 so we're going to have plenty of fuel and one of the cool things about this is that getting into polar orbit is hard like really really hard um all right so cool and getting to the moon is gonna be easy compared to this all right so now i'm gonna circularize my orbit a little bit so i'm gonna wait till the next apoapsis I'm gonna burn again. Let's bring my fuel. Okay, turn appropriately. And we start burning. Cool, that's close enough. So now that we're in orbit, and start the scan. Altitude ideal, fantastic, always love to hear that. And we can see here that we're on this kind of messed up orbit, uh, which is fine, which is fine. What I'm gonna do is gonna point ourselves normal. And since we started the scan, we can open this up and it shows what we've scanned already. And now that I'm pointing at normal, I'm gonna do a full burn until we reach Nope, nope, stop. I guess the other direction. Since my uh, inclination started to decrease. Yes. So we're going to do this rule about uh, until we're at 90 degree inclination. And when we hit 90, that means we're in a polar orbit. And we've got plenty of fuel to do this. And we need this money. This money is going to upgrade our mission control center, which will start letting us make maneuver notes, which will help us plan and clean up uh, some of our piling. Letting the computer calculate uh, how much to burn, when to burn, and stuff like that is going to make our lives so much easier. All right, 80 degrees. We have, we're going to have so much fuel to burn, even though we had some mishaps in the beginning. This is going to be great. Seven. Eight. 9, 90 degrees, so we are in a polar orbit, which is awesome. So now, all we have to do is just fast forward and we can see ourselves scanning. So we can't go any further while below 240,000 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down, I'm going to put myself prograde, and since I am close to this right I've increased my are we still in range we should still be in range yeah um, we're gonna accelerate to apoapsis and we're gonna burn prograde again just so our periapsis is above 240. All right, we're here. Flip our craft around. Let's burn. 240. So now, I'm gonna turn off the rotation. Like, we are just cruising. You can see here that we're scanning like crazy. 
58, 61%. So much things. Yeah, pretty soon we're gonna hit the what we need. Is it working? Yeah. And we just gotta wait till we hit that eighty-five percent. And once we hit the 85% accent we have, you can click here and you see we got the 66,000 monies, which is awesome. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna go to the space center, I'm gonna leave that in orbit. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna upgrade mission control. That took most of our money, which is fine. Oops, I don't want to go here. I want to go to tracking station so we can select a ship that we just left. Which is this right here. Let's move that around. So we have spider, which is orbiting Kerbin. I'm going to load it up. And we can see this just hanging out. And let's see if we can create maneuver nodes. Yes. So what we can do is we, when we click on Apoapsis, and my idea here is I want to, I'm going to want to uh, circularize my orbit a little more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick prograde. I'm going to burn the forward direction, relative forward direction. And using, pulling this back and forth, Periapsis is 291. That's great. If we do click on that warp maneuver. And when we go back here, we can see that we are nine minutes away from our node, from our maneuver node. So I'm going to fast forward till we get closer. And we're gonna burn for exactly 23.9 meters per second. Oh shit, I missed it. <laughs> oh, let's just see what happens. Let's just burn anyway. Cool. Yeah, we missed a little bit, but we can see that we kind of circularized our orbit a little bit. And now we're just going to let this go. And it takes a little longer to complete our scan. But uh, we're going to wait for the pop. And once we do that, we should be able to analyze the data and get some more science from it. And we'll leave our satellite up up here we've got 1900 and almost 1900 uh delta v for maneuvers um if i was feeling daring i'd say let's go for the moon but i think that'll be our next episode and it'll be a lot more fun to go to the moon you know we and usually building a uh, craft to go to the moon it's also a treat 97 98 99.8 what am I missing? What bits are left? So right now it's planetary overlay. It's a big map. Ooh, that's cool. How do I turn this off? Oh, we can just close it. Looks like I'm missing that part right there. Yep, and I'm missing this part. And maybe this part? Oh, we've got 100%. Excellent. So let's bring this back down. Let's click on this array, scanning array. 
analyze the data. We got 15 science. You can see the antenna popping out and transmitting that data back home. Fifteen science added. Cool. Can we do that again? No, we can't do that again. That's fine. We'll leave the satellite in position. Uh, but that's it for this episode. Next episode, let's go to the moon. Happy flying. Happy flying.